So today I'm going to show you how big of an impact your tax refund can have when it's put towards your mortgage. So make sure you stick around because the number is actually going to be pretty surprising. Hey fellow wealth builders, Dennis here with the True Financials channel where we love talking about personal finance to really help you build your wealth. If by chance you are new here and this is your first video with us, make sure you have that subscribe button hit down below and the bell to get notifications when new videos come up. So a little while ago, I actually made a video where I showcased how much of an impact $100 can have on your mortgage. And people really seemed to resonate with it and got some great information. So I want to kind of showcase what putting your tax refund every single year can actually have on your mortgage. Now, if you haven't seen our previous video, I will have that linked up at the end of this one. So make sure you stick around to the end so you can go ahead and watch that one right after. So before hopping onto the computer and really showing the impact that putting your tax refund towards your home mortgage can actually have, one thing I wanna mention is that this is not something you have to do and there are definitely many options when it comes to utilizing your money. Now, I know a lot of people like to utilize their tax refunds for getting new cars, going on trips, or doing a lot of other things. And if that's your prerogative, by all means, I just really wanna show what putting it towards your mortgage can actually do. Now, of course, there's also ways you can invest that money to potentially make more than what you're gonna be saving here. But again, that's definitely different for every single person. So I wanna showcase this information to those that maybe don't really feel comfortable with investing and have more of a safety net of having their home potentially paid off a lot sooner. So while we are transitioning over to the computer camera, make sure you're hitting that like button down below. It actually really helps this video be able to reach out to more individuals so that way they can learn this information as well. All right, so now we moved over to the computer camera and now we're gonna hop onto the actual computer screen. So when we hop onto the computer screen, you're gonna see a red block there and that's just hiding the actual impact that these numbers are gonna have for us because um, I wanna take you step-by-step step on each one and how big of an impact they really are. So the numbers I put on here are actually the same numbers that I implemented into the uh, amount of payoff when I put $100 every single month. So if you want to see the impact on the differences between paying once a year through like a tax refund versus paying $100 every month, um, you'll be able to see the differences in impact. And I'll have that video, as I mentioned, at the end of this one so you can watch it afterwards. And so what I'm gonna do is the original loan amount um, is gonna be right over here, and that is $200,000 that we're gonna have as the original loan amount. Uh, of course, the loan term is 30 years, and then the interest rate we did at 4.25%. Now, when it comes to the remaining term, at least for this video, we're just gonna have it as if we are just starting out with this loan. Of course, for you, you might have a different time frame as far as how much time you have left on the loan. Just make sure you plug in those numbers accordingly for your information. And if you would like to, after you plug this information for yourself, uh, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below how much time and interest are you saving from putting all of this extra money down towards your mortgage every single year. So the website is calculator.net and then just find where it says mortgage payoff calculator. So that way you can plug in all these numbers yourself. So right here it says repayment with extra payments. And then I chose to do the $1,950 per year. Cause again, that's what I found what the average was for 2017 and 2018's tax returns are. So that way we can kind of get an average. Now yours might be higher, yours might be lower. Um, but if you want to find out what your average was the last couple of years, um, plug that one in so you can see your own personal impact. So what we're going to do now is um, I'm going to go ahead and clean this part up. And then I'm going to actually show you what that impact actually has for these numbers. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how much of an impact it's gonna have on the payoff time frame. Now, remember these are 30 year mortgages, which means you're gonna be paying, you know, whatever amount for 30 years. Uh, one other thing to consider too is at least this calculator doesn't take into account PMI, home insurance, or even, you know, any extra little payments here and there like HOAs. So take those into consideration when you are plugging these numbers in. This is of course just the the very raw you know home mortgage loan not anything included with it so right over here uh the actual payoff is going to be in 22 years and 11 months so that's how much more time you're going to be shaving off of your mortgage which means that you're going to have to pay your mortgage 
seven years and one month less than originally planned. Seven years and one month less of having to pay that amount of mortgage every single month. Can you just imagine a loan without any of the interest being saved already, how much you can have for seven years if you didn't have to pay that amount of money towards uh, any towards anything else. If you can pay yourself that so you can invest, you know, put money towards retirement, go traveling, whatever it is that you want to do, you would have seven years of no home mortgage payments. So from here, um, if I continue to wipe this down, it's going to show that, yeah, seven years and one month earlier. And that's a lot of time. That is definitely a lot of time to save off of your mortgage. But here's the even more impactful part is the amount that you're going to be saving in interest. And that would be $40,805.46. $40,805.46 that you are going to be saving in interest by putting a little bit more every single year towards your home mortgage. And this is just talking about the tax refund that the average person actually makes to have that impact onto their mortgage. So when we look at this overall, I'm going to show this here now, is that when we actually break it down, uh, the extra payments right over here, we are paying a total of $313,391. Um, and then the amount, if you were paying it just through regular payments, never putting anything extra, you'd be paying $354,196 in total payments. So yeah, you are saving quite a bit of money in the overall grand scheme of things when you are putting more money towards your principal. And just in case anybody might be misunderstanding, the 40,000 is not including the money that you're actually putting into the uh, into the actual mortgage principal every single month. And uh, that is just gonna be additional savings down the road because again, can you imagine not having a mortgage seven years and how much more of an impact you can have on your personal finances and everything else that you can do in your life. So one big thing I do wanna mention before we continue on uh, to the amortization chart is that when you are putting this extra money towards your uh, mortgage, you wanna make sure that it's going to the principal only. And that's a very key point because going towards just the regular payments, it means you're actually just paying off the interest early and that's not anything we wanna do. We wanna make sure it's going towards the principal only. And in a future video, I'll actually kind of showcase how to find out where to be able to pay your mortgage early. It's always gonna be different for every different company, but some of them are gonna have it a little bit easier than others. So make sure you're subscribed down below so that way you get notifications when videos like that come up. So right over here on the screen, there's also a thing called the amortization chart. So this chart right over here, what this actually does is shows you how much of an impact your actual payment has every single month. And then it breaks it down even through every single year. So as you can see right here, where it says without payoff right over here, um, you're going to see how much you're paying in interest every single pay, uh, every single time you send in your payments versus how much is going to actually go towards the principal. So just like a typical mortgage, you're going to be paying a lot more in interest at the beginning and a very little bit is going to go towards your principal. So that's why the principal payment goes down so slowly at the beginning is because so much of it's actually going towards interest. And then on the other side of that, you're actually going to have it where it shows the payoff amount um, or with the extra payoff, I should say, and how much of a difference that will have an impact. Now, the first couple of years, it might not seem like a lot just because the numbers are so large. So at the end of year one, you're going to be left with $196,628 if you don't pay anything extra towards it. Now, with the extra payoff, of course, because of the extra amount that you're putting in there, you're going to have left $194,678 on there. Again, it doesn't seem like a big difference, um, but it definitely is going to already start having an impact over time because of how much more is going to be going towards the principal um, every single month after that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you what it's like for the person who's actually paying extra towards their mortgage every single year uh, versus the person who is not. So we're going to go down here where it says year end 23. And then I'm going to actually go ahead and circle that here. So this right over here, you're going to see a big difference. You're going to see if you don't pay anything extra towards your mortgage by end of year 23, you're still going to have $171,377 and 44 cents left to pay 
on the principal. And then if you are the one paying every single year, that average of the tax return, you are actually gonna be at $0 by the last two months of the year. So that means that your very last payment is completed on month 11 of that year, and you're gonna have everything else completely paid off. And then from then on, you don't have to be paying any more interest or any more payments towards your actual mortgage because everything is done. And then you can see here, uh, the actual impact for the person not paying anything extra will have all of these extra years every single month, every single year that they have to continue to pay. So all the way down here at the end of year 30, you're gonna finally pay off your mortgage if you're not putting anything extra towards it. Um, but that is 360 months of paying that home mortgage. So again, just imagine seven years of not having to pay that mortgage, how much more of an impact that will be for having that amount of cash flow uh, for yourself. And then obviously just the interest that you're saving alone from putting that money in early instead of waiting until the end of the loan to be finished with it. So I hope you got some great information when it comes to putting this extra money towards your mortgage. If you wanna learn more, check out this playlist right over here when it talks about paying off your mortgage early.